Hey, what's up and welcome back to the channel. So, we're doing something a little bit different today. Well, maybe different. Before we get started though, I just want to tell everyone thanks for the love, support, likes, shares, comments that you've left on the channel. Um, I appreciate it more than I could begin to express in video, but thank you. I appreciate you and I hope you stick around. So what we're doing today is, as I mentioned, maybe a little bit different. I'm sure that there's other videos out there. I'm sure that there will, there, there will always be other videos out there, but it, th this one's for me. So I'm taking a look at my top five baits of 2019 so far. So before we get in, I do have two honorable mention baits that I want to uh, briefly share with you. And uh, yeah, then we'll jump into the list and, and uh, kind of just run through it. So first on the honorable mention list is the Guggen Baits Lunker Log in Baby Bass. Now I did pick a specific color in this instance, sorry, in this instance, simply because this is the color that I've had the most success with. And I also will say that the five inch version has yielded better results for me than the six, but you know, this is what I had. So we go with what we got. Honorable mention number two, Oh, I'm sorry, the baby bass has caught me a ton of fish, but uh, nothing particularly substantial so far in 2019. A couple of good ones. Honorable mention number two. We've got the suspending jerk bait. Look at the colors on that. Ooh, that shine, boy. So it's got a nice rattle. Uh, this, is, this is really popular, or is supposed to be really popular in the fall. Uh, haven't caught any fish on it recently, but to start the year, I uh, kicked it off with a four and a half pounder and it was, yeah, it's phenomenal. Haven't thrown it too much, but really looking forward to getting back into it. All right, without further ado, let's jump in to my top five. We're going to kick it off first and foremost with the bait that everybody loves to hate, the chatter bait. Now you laugh, you ask. Why would I say that everybody loves to hate the chatterbait? Well, there's a couple of channels on YouTube that uh, when I think about chatterbaits, they just make me cringe. I like the content creator. I just hate some of the things that are said. We don't have to get into that, but whatever. It's a personal thing. Chatterbait in black and blue. Um, I usually like to go with the silver or gold blade. Uh, the black's on this one. It's the first one I grabbed out of my box for this, but just wanted to show you. So you can kind of see the see the blade and then of course the black and blue i usually pair this up with a crack and crawl trench hog something like that uh and i got on several quality fish all three three and a half maybe four pounders good stuff that's number five number four coming in at number four the old jig so this this black and blue is from blacklist baits i got it paired up with a okeechobee trench hog it's green pumpkin it's not black i know and uh yeah i mean it's it's one of my favorites i do like to throw swim jigs brush jigs uh the footballs i think i probably had the most success with swim jigs but um again this is the first one that was there so blacklist baits man you're gonna get stupid stupid sharp hooks uh quality skirts i mean this one hasn't been beaten up too bad it's caught several fish and the skirt's still in really good shape and there isn't much uh, much damage to the, the coating on the head. Uh, one thing that I will say is that the eyelets are a little bit different from Blacklist. Um, I like it. Sometimes it makes it a little hard to uh, tie if the paint has kind of filled that cavity a little bit, but it's really a minor complaint. I think I've had one or two where I've had to go in and kind of clean that out. So number four, the Blacklist, the Blacklist Baits Black and Blue Jig. Number three, number three, coming in hot, coming in hot. I hate putting this at number three because it really has caught a lot of fish and some quality fish. This bait was actually responsible for my first PB of 2019, five, uh, four, five, five. Uh, caught it at a little body of water over here, local to my house. I don't know if you can kind of see the colors on that. Uh, this is in, in a bass style color but they'll whopper plopper this is the 75 i don't really particularly care to throw the big one i'm sure that it has its place but i've had the most success on the 75 um funny story on that pb i miscast and landed it on a ledge and uh 
dropped it in the water off the ledge and got hit instantly and well, the rest is history it's like 4 30 in the morning couldn't call alex couldn't wake anybody up he's being selfish of course like taking care of a baby or something or getting ready to take care of a baby his extremely pregnant wife was uh, i don't know you know just fucking selfish stuff what are you gonna do jerk all right i think that's number three number two and this was a huge toss-up for me because this this bait is currently responsible for my 2019 pb at almost six pounds we're like two ounces from six but it's the hollow body walking frog soft body whatever you want to call it um i don't know this one's a lunker hunt the uh, the actual body for the pb frog is, is here which you kind of see those colors but uh it it had uh, a little bit of a rough life after that fish. I went ahead and pulled the uh, tails out and I'm using that for another bait. But uh, yeah, this this style frog, that's a little bit smaller profile. It was like four bucks at Bass Pro and put me on a six pound fish. So I have caught a few frog fish. I'm still kind of learning my hook sets and it's so frustrating. I miss more fish than I catch right now, but it's my fault. It's not the fault of the bait. So number two, the hollow body walking frog. You can also throw the popping frog, but this is my list, not yours. Number one, and this, this was another kind of toss up for me. This particular bait has been used with multiple applications, but thrown alone, I think I've caught the most, the most total fish and best quality fish using this bait. So, without further ado, it is the Bandito Bug. And if you didn't notice, I had Okeechobee again because I'm trying to prove a point that I know that it's not black and blue. It's green, green pumpkin, whatever, and blue, okay? Okeechobee, I get it. I said black and blue in a video. I'm sorry. You can't blame me. Look, I'm wearing blue right now. What do you want from me? Don't give me such a hard time. The Bandito Bug. So, you can throw it a couple of ways. For me, I like to T-rig it. Uh, and just kind of slow roll it. Oklahoma's worst angler, OWA, Alex, whatever we're calling him right here, he uh, he really turned me on to the idea of, of kind of slow rolling my creature crawl style baits versus a traditional drag and pop, drab and, drag and drop, uh, drop and stop, whatever you want to call it. But uh, just kind of slow rolling these and letting the appendages do the work and creating that commotion um, has yielded me some, some really, really pretty amazing results. So... Thanks, Alex, for uh, turning me on to that. But uh, yeah, I've had I've had a lot of luck with the Guggen baits. Now there are some arguments that could be made for durability and quality, but that's that's an entirely separate video. I'm just telling you what's worked the best for me for 2019 so far. Now we get the Galloway. Get up. All right. So we've got a couple of months left in 2019, and I'm really looking forward to, to cooler weather. Once it starts cooling off, I'm going to change my approach. I'm going to start throwing more swim baits. I'm going to start working my little square bills. Uh, probably throw some more of that suspending jerk bait. But uh, I'm really excited for cooler weather. I think we've had a stretch now of nearly 45, maybe 50 days of, of uh, 95 to 100 degree weather with, with extremely high humidity, and it, it really makes fishing very challenging. A lot of you guys down south know all about the humidity and heat and what it does to uh, to the water. So I'm 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 excited for fall, uh, the fall transition, whatever we're calling it. As cliche as that sounds, I'm ready. So do me a favor, let me know in the comments what your top five baits of 2019 are, what you're looking forward to throwing, and how you think your spring 2020 is going to go once we get into spawn season. I'd love to discuss this more. So. Hit me in the comments and uh, and let's go to it. If you made it this far in the video, I appreciate you. We'll see you next time. Thanks.